If you need to access a variable that's not a parameter and is outside of the function, you can use the use keyword. So let's say that we have a variable named best laptop. So this is just a variable inside here, MacBook Pro, for example. And then we create our anonymous function. So we'll say display best laptop. And then we're just going to assign it this anonymous function. And what we'll do is inside here, we'll say echo best laptop. As you can see, it's already underlining it right for me. It's saying undefined variable best a laptop. And it says add to this closure the use construct if we wanted to use it. So my IDE PHP Storm actually is smart enough to go ahead and do this automatically, but we'll walk through it. So if you did it this way, you will get an error message that states that the variable best laptop is undefined. But why? Well, it's not inside the scope of this anonymous function. In order to make it within the scope, we have to use the use keyword. Let's go ahead and attempt to call this function and see what happens. So again, this is just a variable function that we're basically doing. There's a variable append parentheses, and we're calling this function. If we go to the browser, open up our page, you can see undefined variable, best laptop, and use keyword on line seven. So in order to fix that, I can just scroll over here, click this little use, and it will create this a use keyword. So just to kind of go over it again, you're gonna use the use keyword, and then open up close parentheses, and then what do you want to use? So we're going to use the best laptop that's outside the scope of this closure, but now it's going to be brought into it through the help of the use keyword. So if we go back and we hit refresh, there we go, MacBook Pro. So the use keyword can only be used with anonymous functions like the one we just looked at. We cannot use the use keyword with a regular function so we can't do something like this, for example. So we can't say function display best laptop two, um, and then in here echo best laptop. As you can see right now, again, because within this function, we don't have access to the scope outside here. So we would have to either pass it as a parameter, which it tells us right there, create parameter, or we could attempt to use the use keyword and say best laptop. And as you can see, it's not working, right? So this still does not work in the way we intended it to. So let's go ahead and call it display best laptop two. Let's try it, go to our browser, hit refresh, and there we go, parse error, syntax error, unexpected use, expecting open curly brace. So if you ever wondered what is the purpose, what is the use of anonymous functions, this could be a really good use for it right here, where if you ever needed to access an external variable outside of the scope of the closure itself, then you can use the use keyword. <laughs> Whereas in a regular function, like the one we're looking at right here, the only way this will work is if we pass this as a parameter. So in order to fix that function as well, what we would do is say, that's the laptop right here, for example, and then we would have to pass it as a function. So when we're calling it, this call itself is within the same scope. We can pass it here, it gets passed as an argument here, and then it gets translated here into this echo statement. So now if we refresh this page, everything is right in the universe again, and it'll display MacBook Pro twice.